so here we go uh, we're gonna put this AMD chip um, back from the Dow system which I took out and created another case but I didn't like the power cord so we're gonna put in another a CPU on this one uh, and we're a generic power supply so let's go ahead and begin commence taking the old motherboard off first and we're also going to take the parts the water cooling supplies the water cooling too It's really sorry as motherboard. Uh, this is the this is the actual power button. That's the only reason I'm replacing it because this power button sucks. I mean, this is the power button that the Dell that I was able to salvage from it, and um, it didn't really it wasn't really useful. You can you only use one M.2 at a time. Uh, there's two slots, and uh, we're just gonna like I said, we're gonna replace the M.2. And we're not gonna clone it, we're just gonna replace it completely. It's dead to me. So this is um I believe it was like 500 gigs on it. 525, that's what it says. 525. And that's an M plus uh a B plus M. So and it says D S, that's what it is. Put the screws back in here. I'm gonna keep the screws, but the motherboard sucks the worst motherboard i ever had to use and it was that's why it was cheap and expensive you have the old connections too um really simple we're gonna get, we're gonna keep the cpu there until we're ready to replace so let's go ahead and replace with the new motherboard msi b a450 amd motherboard so we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy loose this one and it wasn't that expensive it was under a hundred bucks I believe so I'm not gonna spend too much mother money on the, on, the, on the motherboard because the damn computer wasn't expensive so let's bust it out just to see it the motherboard what else did they give you they give you stickers manual the face uh, the SATA connections and instructions how to put the motherboard together uh, for the for the actual fan and driver information and a sticker and the manual that's about it we don't need none of that shit we don't need nothing we're gonna go freestyle here baby I'm gonna put this in a little tiny ziploc bag just to keep them together uh, for future reference if you guys ever want to go back in there and these have to be removed too so that's part of the plate in the back so this is for somebody also too that asked me if you could replace the motherboard you could replace the motherboard but you're gonna need to replace the power supply and also um, if you bring I don't know about the fan the fan um, you could do it you could bring it actually so now that we move the plate plate so the arrows are on this corner if you guys see it um, it's not legible so we're gonna go ahead and remove the existing one is the arrows on this corner too it tells you right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, lift up and then we could clean it but I'm just gonna keep seeing cement in there and all you have to do is drop it in there there it is just settle and then now we close it and that's it should be coming out and it does have a little bit so we're not even gonna add more to it because it, it, it's still clean enough to do it so we're gonna keep that together see these are loose I think I'm gonna have to tighten them out here we have a terabyte uh, uh, crucial um, hard drive so on this one in particular, you gotta remove this one. You gotta measure it first. This is an 80 centimeter, so we're gonna go replace this one. So what you gotta do is sometimes they're hand tight in there. Gotta remove it. Get the right one. And that's it. Now the screw. The screw should be included in the back. 
Luckily, I have one from, from this motherboard. We'll just take it out. Where was it? It was right here. Pick up the screw. Now, we do the rest of the stuff, which is the hardest part is this part right here, but I think we'll have to put it from here, sticking out here. Let me, let me see how it's going to go. So, this one right here in particular, I think um, we have it here, because of here. So we're gonna put the memory in. Memory, memory, memory. So Three. Okay, four. So we got the four memory in here, and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and turn the sucker on. And if it turns on, we are in Disney. So I'm gonna keep it here so you guys can see it. Actually, I'm gonna force it this way so you guys can see it better give us some juice captain all right give us some juice move this out of the way Power on. Ooh, we got contact lights coming in Forgot to plug in the monitor. Restart. Two. So it's working. Everything seems like it's working right now. We're gonna go into the uh, BIOS itself to see if we can get in here. And here we go. So here we are. We're into the BIOS. Forget about my mess in the back. <laughs> Somebody complained about me having a cochinero, a mess. So here we are. We have uh, 3.4 megahertz right now. We can overclock this easily. Um, to, you know, so uh, BIOS is all set up on this motherboard memory wise. All of them are showing up 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig. Um, hard drive is on. Uh, HD controllers on, Windows support, uh, storage, one of them, which is that terabyte fan. We got the fan going. So pretty much everything's in here, in house. Recommendations, probably do the BIOS update. Um, fan, I'm gonna put the fan warning control but now nah, I'm gonna turn it off I don't really need it landline uh, voltage is working 
really prop properly uh, see the I want to see the actual fan information so as you can see it doesn't have any water pump support yet but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come down to the line um, harbor monitor we could go in here and see more details on it on the motherboard itself systems you know the CPU the usage RPMs how many uh, right now only systems at different degrees you know 40 55 70 and 85 uh, temperature zone that gives you how high it gets if it goes to a point you know, shut off uh, temperature for the CPU Try this so it fans on right now. Currently, at the CPU is 45 to 33, system uh, 45 and the system's 33, uh, which is not bad. It's gonna cool down as soon as I, I added more fans. Right now, it's just there's so many two different channels you can change. So here's a pump. How much pump we're pumping right now? It's just working properly. Uh, everything seems like normal. I don't have any high voltage usage or anything. Uh, water cooling, EVGA, um, four 8 gig memories. Um, then we have a water pump with it. On top of that, there's more slots, a couple more slots so we can fit in some more stuff. Um, I'm using an AMD Ryzen that, that I took from the Dell system. So we're translating one terabyte of um, M.2. B plus um, B plus no M.2 M SSD. Um, other than that, there's a lot of slots in here, plenty of space for other stuff. Uh, it does con it, ha it does have um, support for RGB lighting in this motherboard. Really simple, uh, simple to set up. It took me a couple minutes. Uh, if you guys can see, there's an RGB lighting here. Anything that says RGB lighting, it's, it's included in there. The gaming plus. Uh, I like the little logo lights up with that little. Uh, so we had three more slots that we could fit in some stuff, and we could even secondary video card if we want in here. Uh, currently, the machine is running. It's on. It's 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 a workhorse, so it's not bad. I mean, the fan it's cooling down the water cooling. We have two more fans in the front. Um, one of them lights up, the other one doesn't. So we're gonna see what we can do. Make it pretty. Other than that, if you have any questions or any comments, I'm your host. Prophet 74 and